To safely tow a trailer, the tongue has to be level with the road. But that means the coupler may be a different height than the hitch's receiver. And that's where the ball mount comes in. It makes up the difference in height by either raising or lowering the hitch ball. Ball mounts come in different sizes, so you'll have to do some measuring. I'll show you what to measure to match up your vehicle with your trailer. The first thing you need to know is the size of your hitch receiver. Most cars and small SUVs have a one and a quarter inch square tube, and larger trucks and SUVs usually have a two inch receiver tube. So measure yours before you go to the store. Park the vehicle and trailer on a level spot. Then place a bubble level on the tongue and adjust the trailer jack until it's level. Measure the trailer height at the front and back and adjust the jack until both measurements are the same. Measure from the ground to the top of the hitch receiver tube. This one is 18 and a half inches. Take the hitch ball and put it in the coupler. Then lock it in place. Measure from the ground to the flange on the hitch ball. The distance from the top of the receiver to the ground was 18 and a half inches, and the distance from the ball to the ground was 16 and a half inches. So I need to get a ball mount with a two inch drop. So go to the store and buy a ball mount with a two inch drop. If you can't find one that's exactly the same drop that you need, get the one that's closest. While you're at the store, pick up a tube of waterproof marine grease. Then smear it onto the ball mount before you insert it into the receiver. Trust me, if you don't cover it with grease, it'll be rusted solid within a year and you'll need a sledgehammer to get it out. Don't forget to secure the hitch pin. With the correct ball mount, you'll get proper load distribution on the hitch, the best handling, and a safer tow.